Hello, and welcome to Physics 131, Introduction to Physics 1. My name is Jason Harlow, and I will be teaching the second half of this course, starting in late October. I will also be the one recording the daily YouTube videos, which go over the reading you are responsible for. I'll talk more about that later. The first half of this course is taught by the guy right above me, Professor Brian Wilson. You'll see him in real life in class soon. The purpose of this course is to give you an introduction to how scientists think and how we approach problems. Physics is one of the oldest sciences, and in some ways it is the most simple. Physicists start with a big, messy problem, and we first simplify it as much as we possibly can. Only then do we try to analyze the situation. We then gradually introduce more complications one at a time until eventually we end up with a very complicated model. Classes are 50 minutes long every Monday and Wednesday starting on Monday, September the 11th. Each class is repeated twice per day, once at 11 a.m. in Convocation Hall and then again at 5 p.m. in MP 103. You should only go to one or the other. Since there is generally a lot more room in Con Hall, we recommend you go to the 11 a.m. lecture if you can. In addition to the two classes per week, you also must attend a two-hour practical once per week. This is like a lab, but it will also contain some problem-solving and tutorial activities. The practicals are done in groups of 36 students, and the rooms are in MP, the physics building either MP122, 123, or 124, also starting the week of September the 11th. To find which room you go to, you can either look at the lists posted outside MP122, or you can go to the portal website and click on My Prague Group. Your practical group will be led by two graduate student teaching assistants, or TAs. You will have the same TAs every week beginning in the second week of practicals which starts September 18th. Get to know your two TAs as they will be with you all semester. Since your TAs have an 18 to 1 student to teacher ratio at most, they are much more able to get to know you than Brian and I are. Also, you will be assigned to sit with the same team of four students all semester. So get to know the other three students in your team and it might even be a good idea to attend the Monday and Wednesday classes with your teammates as well. Keep in mind that while practical participation is worth marks, the purpose of practicals is for you to learn physics so you can perform better on the tests and final exam. Also, while you can choose which lecture section you attend each day, you cannot attend a practical section that you are not officially registered in. You must go to the practical section you are registered for and sit in your assigned seat or you will be marked absent and you will not receive any marks. Here is the marking scheme for Physics 131. Notice that 75% of your mark will be determined by the two midterm tests, which are 80 minutes each on two different Tuesday evenings, and the final exam, which is two hours long in December. The other 25% of your mark comes from your teamwork and practicals and your work on the online homework and the in-class quizzes. This is the textbook you'll need. It's called Essential University Physics, 3rd Edition by Richard Wolfson. The new book comes with an access code for Modified Mastering Physics. So if you get a used copy, you will need to purchase an additional code which costs $70. We use Volume 1 of this text for Physics 131 and Volume 2 for Physics 132, Introduction to Physics 2, which begins in January. Now, you will quickly notice that the classes in this course are not really lectures in the traditional sense. There is a body of evidence coming from physics education research which shows that students learn best when they are active and that simply listening to someone lecture is not a great way to learn. So, 
Physics 131 classes involve in-class quizzes every day, which can be done on a smartphone, tablet, or laptop. And we encourage you to discuss these quizzes with your peers in the classroom. In order for these discussions to be productive, we strongly suggest that you do the reading before coming to class. Note that before every class, we will post a YouTube video, kind of like this one, going over the highlights of the daily reading. If you really don't want to read the textbook before coming to class, then please at least watch the pre-class video on YouTube. This will be enough to prepare you for the pre-class quiz and the in-class questions and discussions each day. Remember, links to all materials are posted on portal.utoronto.ca. Please check it often. So that's it for now. If you look on the portal, you will soon find another video for the Wednesday, September 13th class. In that video, I'll actually start talking about physics and solving some physics problems.